Can we turn this back on? Also, is there anything else that we can do around here? There's not much that we can do. Oh. She's adorable. When is it, my darling angel? Oh, my head hurts, mama. You poor dear. And no wonder. With a fever of 102. Here is to a night of fe- 102? Isn't there like close to 40 degrees? Celsius? Jesus Christ. Here is to a night of fever. Hotter than the love of my prime minister. It's almost time to go off for my lesson. Can I take the night off? Yes, I suppose that would be best. But wait a minute. I bet you're happy to have an excuse to get off it, aren't you? Not especially. If I ever don't want to go, I just don't go and pretend I did. I go play with Camilla next door or something. Here is to the blunt honesty of my darling angel. Hey, today is Papa's birthday. Oh, is it? Are we going to celebrate together? Let's not talk about your father, dear. Now Mama has to go back to work. I have a deadline tonight, after all. Alright. Mama, wait! I have just one thing to say. Don't try and put me in the middle of you two, okay? Whatever could you be talking about? I know what's going on, you know. You write novels, and Papa wants you to stop. But it was very selfish of you to take me and leave the house. I want to go home. Now, now. It's time for good little girls to go to sleep. Especially sick little girls. Oh, man. I hate your mama. Oof. Must be a pretty, pretty rough um, family situation right over here. Moved here due to a disagreement with her husband. The daughter of the woman in purple, she has a fever of all in all too. Apparently she and Camilla are friends. She isn't going out for her lesson tonight. Aw oh man, poor thing. Okay. Now... Okay, let's just, let's just wait. Let's just let this play out and see what she has to say. Oh, the lamp is out. Oh, Jesus. I, uh, ugh. Ugh. I don't know how to feel about that one. I have a stick inside of me that touched this lady's butt. Weirdly sensual with this music as well. Ugh. My darling lady, to think that you are a spy all along. What are you going to do to me, Mr. Prime Minister? I'll arrest you and make sure you receive the proper penalty. Your sentence? To be imprisoned in my cell of love and punished with my whip of passion. Oh, Mr. Prime Minister. Oh, my dear lady. Hmm. I had to live in this Prime Minister's country. Okay, let's just turn it off. What is going on? Oh, I made a typo. Hmm, okay. Oh, hold on. I think I may have an idea right over here. The telephone is right over there. If only I could get to it. Yeah, I think that we're, what we're gonna have to do is... We're gonna have to do that same thing. We turn it off. We make her write like another typo. And while she is gonna toss that uh, like ball of paper, we're gonna possess it so we can travel to the trash bin like right over there. I think that's gonna be the, the idea here. I just need to jump over there somehow. I better keep my eyes open for just the right timing to make a move. Yeah, there you go. Oh god, not again. Ugh. Jesus freaking Christ. Okay. And then possess this. Ugh. There you go. Now you're here. Whoop. Hey, look at me, I can juggle. <laughs> if only we were able to juggle with two balls. 
or free balls like this. Trash bin. Or waste basket, I guess. Hmm. Okay, well, I think I know what we're supposed to do here. Let's do this, and then we have enough distance to reach the phone. Or maybe even this. Let's see, is there something here? There is something here. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think this works. Well, we can go here anyway. Let's see. Can we make this foil on her? Can we kill her? <laughs> um, nah, I guess not. I don't think we can do much with this. Not this either. Hmm. Okay, well. Swing harder. Come on, harder. Eh, there. She's adorable. Look at her. <clears throat> Hello! Is that you? How many times are you going to make me tell you? Tonight is the holiest of all nights. My deadline. Please. I'm begging you. Change your mind and come home to me. I think you're the one who needs to change his mind. Please, put yourself in my position. He can write your novel just as well from home. Until you change your mind, your daughter and I won't be coming home. Even if that means forever. Ugh. Let me talk to Emily then, at least. You cannot talk to her. She's sick with a fever right now, and I won't have you giving her nightmares. I want to talk to Papa. No, I don't want to hear your voice anymore tonight. Please, wait a minute. Don't try to call again. I won't answer. I refuse to answer. Jesus Christ. You know who this woman reminds me of? It reminds me of that woman from uh, like the Tom and Jerry movie from like the 90s. The one with the, the little blonde girl and... Actually, this feels kind of close to it. No, no, <laughs> even more closer than I was thinking. Jesus. We're gonna, we're gonna release uh, like uh, the blonde girl. We're gonna have to reunite her with her daddy. Except in this case, we have like a general type guy instead of a... Uh, pff, uh, like Indiana Jones father. <laughs> and we're gonna help her. Tom and Jerry style. I finally have the telephone lines I need. I'm curious about this woman's husband. But I should go find my only lead first. The headman who is after line is sure to be heading to the junkyard right now. I better hurry. I guess so. Hmm. Oh. I guess we're gonna leave this place for right now. We're definitely gonna be coming back to this place. But, yeah. We have a job to do. Are you alright, sir? I order all of you not to come near me. I, I, I beg your pardon, sir. <sighs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't have yelled at you like that. But I'd like to be left alone right now. You may go. Yes, sir. Oh boy. Another strange room. And another strange person. It's as if this whole city is filled with strange people. I wish these speed telephone lines came with a nameplate or something. Sheesh. Alright, well... <laughs> is this how it's gonna be? Like... We're gonna have to keep uh, traveling through the city through random places until we reach, like, our destination. Because sadly, it only goes, like, one line, apparently. Which doesn't really make sense that much. It's not like there's like only one line between places. Actually, now that I think about it, we can go to other places now that I think about it, so never mind. It's just that this is a new place, so maybe we should explore this place a little bit first. Hmm. There are some 
There's definitely some armor around here, but... Can we do anything with this right now? Hmm. Like, is this the only thing that we can do? Like, just roam around here and do nothing, I guess? Hmm. Yeah, I get the feeling that there's not much that we can do around here, nor should we even be here in the first place. Let's see. I get the feeling that this is going to be part of the puzzle as well, trying to figure out places where we should go. Nine apartment, luxurious. Yeah, you know what? Let's, uh, let's go to the junkyard. I don't think that there's much we can do with that room either. At least not right now. Not much time has passed since I was here last, but the situation has changed. Okay. Looks like they're examining my body. I wonder who they are. Uh. Is that is that right? And Mr. Payne? And another blue guy, another bit beside them. A certain somebody else wriggles and bounces happily. I wonder who that person really is, too. Yeah, I wonder. Hey, welcome back, Slugger. You weren't gone very long. What's going on here? The police are here to start a criminal investigation. You know, into your murder. My murder case, huh? Where is Lai? Is she alright? So you found out her name already, did you? Yeah, I'm impressed, Slugger. Yeah, I mean, you were here. Can you tell us, like, what happened? Because we weren't able to hear, like, the full conversation since the telephone got cut. It sounded like she was in some kind of immediate danger. Not to mention the fact that the hitman is after her again. Well, well, you don't have to worry about that kind of thing. She was just taken to a custody a few minutes ago. Custody? You mean she was arrested? But why? I mean, I don't know. I'm just a desk lamp, dude. Hmm. I'm gonna see what I can find out. I mean, should we consider that a good thing? I don't know. I mean, is she safe in custody instead of being taken by, like, hitmen and such? No. Yeah. That's surely not gonna help us, though. We need to solve our mystery as well. It's not just about their safety. Hmm. Worst case scenario, they're gonna think that she's the one who murdered. CC. Oh, I cannot do much with this. Can we hear their conversation? Quite a thing, huh, in this case. Yeah, one of our own. A murderer. Heads will roll heads will roll over this. Oh. So do these guys know CC? And she's a rookie too. Her, she was carrying out some crazy investigation. Rookies aren't given crazy assignments like that. Not even rookies like Lime. Is she part of the police? Yeah, but I heard she was special. She got strong ties to Inspector Cabanella of the Special Investigation Unit. Hmm. I plan on making up the letter on my own merits myself. Well, the de we detectives shouldn't be standing around gossiping. Never know who might be listening. Like me. Not like me. <laughs> Think we can safely assume the cause of death was the ball he took in the chest. Hmm. Yes. Bring the stretcher. I'll look into the rest back at the lab. Would you mind waiting here for a bit, Doctor? Inspector Capanella, head of the, is head of the special investigation unit, is on his way now. Special Investigation Unit. What do we want with a case like this? I don't know. But Cabanella is our top investigator. We don't want to get him all bent out of shape. Or there'll be hell to pay. Hmm. <laughs> no see what that has to do with me. I don't really get what Cabanella wants to come for, either. It's probably just a big lot for him. Well, if it makes things tougher on us. Hey, watch what do you say behind his back, you know? Never know who might be listening. 
Like me. Like me. <laughs> uh, hello. Who the fuck is this guy? Is this Kamanella? Ah, the tension of a crime scene. Yeah, nothing like it, baby. Look at this guy. Evening, boys. How's it looking? The Inspector Cabadell. Well, thank you for coming. Allow me to report, sir. Fine, fine. Hey, just hold that thought. I am gonna make a little phone call first. Yeah. Watch out! So, this is the head of the Special Investigation Unit, huh? He seems, uh, unique. What kind of city are we in? You know, this reminds me of my time in Japanifornia. Japanifornia sure is uh, filled with uh, quite some unique people. Maybe this is a totally different branch uh, from uh, from the one that Gumshu works in. Imagine if this is the new guy that is like the chief, like officer. Of the police, like after uh, you know who in the first day's turning game, trying not to spoil out over here. Actually, who is the next one? Like after that guy, hmm. Like somebody replaced them for sure, but I don't know who. I don't think they ever mentioned that. Hmm. Either way, um. Can we listen in on the conversation here? Let's see. Deal me the deal. How's it going over there, baby? Going? How is it going, you ask? You'd like to know how it's going. I would say it's going well enough. About fair to average, if I had to say. Yes, it's going alright. Not the man I was hoping to talk to there, baby. Do me a favor and put that other nice man on the horn now, would you? That's a nice fellow. If it has anything to do with this park, I'm the one to talk to. I'm the guardian of this park. Yes. Give me that, fucking hobo. Uh, sorry about that, Inspector. I just got here. Well, glad to hear you made it. That little fellow is just about to throw me for a loop. Start blathering something about being guardian of the park or some such. Yes, him. <clears throat> uh, sorry about that. Well, start doing your staking out thing, baby. And buzz me if anything comes. Yes, sir. Trace complete. Uh, I guess now we can go to the park. Now then, sir. If I may make my report, sir. Doc! You! Oh, Doc! Mm -hmm. Talking to me. I need you to handle this case with your finest care and attention. Would you do that for me, Doc? No need you to tell me how to do my job. Mm. <laughs> hey, dude. I'd like to see the suspect now, if I may. Line, sir. Ask her to let herself be taken into custody voluntarily, sir. She's been detained in the junkyard superintendent's office right now. Supers in supers in supers office, eh? Super! And where is that? Just beyond where you parked your bicycle, Inspector. Oh. There's an office like right near the junkyard, eh? I'll go into where the suspect then. Yeah! Nothing like it, baby. Hoo ya! Hoo! Hoo! Ha! Hoo! Hoo ha! Carry on, boys! Good luck, sir!
All right, and there he goes. I think we're gonna we're gonna have to follow him. I mean, we have like two ways. Like either we go in the see about that office, like upstairs, or we go to the park, I guess. Not much we can do with this. Sissy. Hey, Lamp. Eh, I cannot reach you, Lamp. Ugh. Such an inconvenience, I swear to God. Is there, like, anything else, anything that we can do around here? Let's listen to this guy some more. Phew, <sighs> Inspector Cabanillo. He sure has a strange air about him. <sighs> you can say that again. I never seen anybody use stairs the way he does. I hear he's dancing his way up the stairs of promotion that same airy way. <laughs> I hear Line is his personal favorite. What's the deal between those two? Hey, how should I do? I don't know. Do you have anything to say? I think we can pretty safely assume this was a murder weapon. Alright. Or it was his weapon. Oh no, that pistol. Yep, same model as the pistols you detectives carry around. You don't think it's lies, do you? This is not good. If it is hers, it's all over. So Lyne is a detective, and the murder weapon might be her pistol. What could it all mean? It could mean that somebody is framing her. I don't think that she's the one who killed... Uh... CC. Or at the very least, there is no proof for that. Innocent till proven guilty. So this is the weapon that took my life. A pistol, huh? My memory seems to be hazy on pistols. But I have seen that before, that's for sure. Let's see... This part right here is... Oh shit! Jesus Christ, man. Four! If you want to fire a thing, aim it in your own direction! I, I didn't fire it! I'm the victim here! This is the act of somebody who's just about abilities as a detective. Well, what are you glaring at me for, huh? I'm hardly jealous of you. <laughs> I guess that proves it's a real gun. Jesus Christ, man. What was that? Okay, that was not me. Is that what I think it was? The son of a gun. No. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. I got a bad thing about this. <laughs> the doctor's posed there, I swear to God. Every time that phone rings, it's bad news. And it's like that old riddle. Which came first, the ringing of the phone or the crime scene? <laughs> you know what? That's a, that's an interesting way of putting it. Like, either the murder weapon happened first and then there's a ring. Or the ringing happened first and then afterwards the crime is gonna happen. Either way, you are attracting the detective with that phone call. In order for uh, the plot to continue. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, let's... Let's hear in on the conversation. Ah, there you are. Do me a favor and have the doc come to the super's office, will you? Uh, he seems pretty busy at the moment, sir. Which one are you? The green one or the blue one? Uh, I have... I'm, I'm the... I'm the... the quote-unquote, the green one, sir. Listen, greeny. Get a good doc over here this instant. Or see to it you never re wear a green suit again. In fact, I'll make it red for you! Uh, yes, sir. I'll send him right, a right up, sir. Okay, and now I can go to the super's office. Please, doctor. Go to the superintendent's office immediately. <sighs> if I must. It'll be a lot safer for me. Without you murdering each other, I swear to God. <laughs> okay. What's going on? Don't ask me, but something seems really, really wrong. 
That shot sounded like it was coming from somewhere around the maintenance building. Hmm. Some murdering is happening. I saw the telephone call was from the server's office on the maintenance building. And then the blue detectives say that line was being held in the junkyard superintendent's office. Hurry then! You better get up there quickly! No time to be standing around here talking to a death stamp. Says the one who was only capable of standing around. Actually, wait a second. I just, I just realized that park. It could be will be the same park that uh, Camilla is going to. So I guess it's good luck that we actually got the line for that one. Hmm. But okay. I guess there's nothing else that we can do. All right. Well, order of priority. I think that we're gonna have to go to the super's office first. Seems kind of urgent. It could be like, like a. It could be that a new crime happened right now. Yet another gunshot rings out in the lonely junkyard on the edge of town. The song gives me the feeling that new death will be waiting on the other side of the line. Ba, 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 ba. Apparently, I'm not the only one that the Reaper is interested in tonight. But as long as there's anything I can do about it, I don't plan on letting anybody else die. Oh, that's right. Alright, chapter 3 complete. Alright, let's see. Eight twenty-three p.m. Changing a person's fate is not an easy task, especially when their fate is death. The scene at the other end of the line is pretty much what I expected, all except for one thing. Oh no! Oh god, she died again. No, line, hang in there, baby. Oh. It looks like some piece of trash shot her from the top of the pile of garbage outside. Here, let me take a look at her. Maybe there's something I... Sorry, can't allow that, pigeon man. I investigate, and you, superintendent. You have your job, and I have mine. Let's leave each, in, it, let's leave each to his own profession, shall we? Hmm. Actually, you know what? Let me try this. I have never tried uh, doing this kind of voice acting with my nose closed. Mm. Yeah, well, here's what I think. How much of a pro can you be if you let her get shot right in front of you? I... Anyway, have it your own way. I'll stay out of your hair. <laughs> Talk! What took you so long? Quit dragging your feet! Who are you to shout at me? No, let me have a look at her victim. I haven't even looked yet, but I can already tell you she's dead. Her second death of the night, actually. Oh boy. The number of times that she, this woman is gonna die tonight is probably gonna be the equivalent of how many times Maya is gonna get in danger. And get accused of murder. Oh boy. All right, well, let's see. We can turn off the light. We can turn this thing around, which is going to be good for distance. There's a notebook here. What's up with this blinding pink notebook? Somebody stuck it behind the bookcase at a haphazard angle. Maybe that's the superintendent's way of tidying up. <laughs> Sounds kind of messy, not gonna lie. I get the feeling that Line actually put it there. 
secretly. What in the world is going on here? Motor? Oh! We are here. Hmm. This must be a basement. There's the old man from before. I cannot see very well in this darkness. I mean, it looks like a pretty strange room. But never mind this. I better go see about line. Yeah, something tells me that we're not going to be able to do much here yet. Although I'm pretty interested in what he's doing. It seems like he's doing something sus, that's for sure. Unconscious at this time as well, huh? Where am I? She's coming too? What happened to me? Excuse me. Are you ignoring me? Oh, uh, sorry. I'm still not used to talking with dead people, you see. Dead? So I'm dead, huh? Hmm. Try as I might, I can't seem to remember who I am. She's starting to remind me of me. Who am I? Everybody seems to call you Lon, if that's any help. Lion, huh? Pretty cute name. And apparently you're a detective too. Detective? You mean that super cool kind of cop that solves crimes and upholds justice? Fuck yeah! Sounds like a pretty subjective description, but yeah, that kind of detective, I guess. Hey, wait a minute. Are you starting to remember something? There's no time to lose. Something really unusual is going down in this town tonight. What the fuck? Yeah, I certainly won't argue with the really unusual part. That's not your face, you know. Take another look. You're the dead one. Oh, right, of course. It'd be pretty heinous if I looked like this, I guess, wouldn't it? I don't know if heinous is the right word. Okay, so I guess the ghosts are capable of taking appearance of other people. Hmm, interesting. Aha! Uh -huh. There you go. Now I look much better. Look at how beautiful I am. There, now this is more like it. Something really unusual is going on in this town tonight. Could it have anything to do with my death, I wonder? Tell me, what is going on in this town tonight? I mean, don't ask me. Huh? I can't remember a thing. I think it's probably because I'm dead. Yeah! I think it's so confusing. Can't you do something? Hey, you're asking the wrong guy. But I got something to ask you about. Hmm. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's do some introductions here, I guess. I'm looking for the answers to the questions, who am I, and why was I killed? Do you know anything that may help? The only thing I know of right now is that my name is Cecil. Your name is Sissy, huh? No, I said Cecil. Ear, like, either way, it rings some kind of bell, anyway. I think I was killed tonight, while I was meeting with you. So you must at least know me, I think. I was meeting with you? Yes, in the junkyard outside. Yeah, it's coming back to me. I remember now. I knew it! I knew you were the lead I needed! But I'm so sorry. I don't think I can help you. <laughs> Why not? Because I don't know you. What do you mean? I thought you said you remembered me. No, I said I remembered something. I remember the fact that I don't know you. Uh, no way. Well, I guess that's... I guess that's information too. So you apparently never met each other. I died, huh? Yeah, apparently. I'm uh, very sorry. How could this have happened? And after I just passed my test finally this year, my exciting career of catching the bad guys had just begun. And now look at me! 
Why did I have to go and die in an old junkyard like this? Poor kid. The shock is setting in. Yeah. And so I told her everything that happened tonight. And about ghost tricks, possessing and manipulating objects. And about going back four minutes before a person's death. This actually isn't the first time you died tonight, you know. You were already shot and killed once before tonight. And you saved me? That's right. You don't remember? Actually, this kind of brings up like an interesting uh, thing going on here. When, like when we were with the dog, and we talked to them again, like after their, uh, after resurrecting them, they remembered. So technically speaking, since we already saved Line before we possessed her, quote unquote, and turned back four minutes and then saved her life, changed her fate, wouldn't she remember that? Hmm. Yes, I think I do remember something like that happening, vaguely. Yeah, I did get shot. By blue men dressed in all in black. I guess this means that even if a death is erased, the memory of it remains. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So she remembers that too. So I died twice already tonight. I wish I knew what to say to her. I guess I'll just have to wait until she recovers a little. Hey, I bet that that's some kind of a record, don't you think? Yeah, you're probably right. I think she's pretty much recovered already. I mean, we can send in this uh, as like a world record that a person like her has died twice. I mean, Jesus died once and then resurrected, but I don't remember him dying twice. And soon enough. Line is gonna be resurrected again. Yo, we're gonna increase uh, like uh, the death counter like so many times in this. That's a world record. Like, it's much much better than that world record where a person has to stay awake for like eight days or something like that. I mean, Jesus, that's that's like death sentence. Like, that is that is like that is like shortening your life for the person that does it, and that is like a. Like, prison sentence for those who are involved in that. Ugh. Two strangers. So you don't know me, huh? I mean, there is a reason why uh, staying awake for as long as possible is not accepted in the world record uh, thingy. Like, that's very unhealthy. So you don't know me, huh? Nope. I wish I did. So, do you suppose we're just two strangers who happened to meet tonight? No way. I don't think it was any accident. Why in the world would I be out here in the middle of nowhere for no reason? I don't know, maybe you were... You were part of a... Like, murder case? And you had to meet... With Sissel for like the first time? To solve a mystery? I was asked to come here tonight. Asked to come? By who? Can you kind of guess where this is going? By Sissy? You're kidding. You mean... Bingo! By you! I asked you to come here? But why? That's what I was going to ask you! Why did you ask me to come here tonight? Way out here in the middle of nowhere. You gotta be kidding me. It was about saying that I don't remember. Ah! I think it's so confusing. Can't you do something? <laughs> Line, I'm not saying you owe me or anything, but I have a favor to ask. What is it? In the next four minutes, you'll probably come back to life. When you do, do you think you could try find out about me before tomorrow morning? Who I am and why I was killed? Hmm. Well, it kind of depends. Because... As far as I know, they don't retain the memories of when they died, and therefore they don't retain the memories of this kind of ghostly conversation. So when she comes back to life, she's not going to remember to find out more about you. But she will find out 
I mean, maybe she will find out more about CC right over here. Even if he was not part of her job or anything like that. I, I mean, I, it all kind of depends on how much of her memory comes back to her, to be quite honest. I'm really sorry, but I cannot make any promises. Well, why not? I don't remember very clearly right now, but I think I was investigating a case tonight. A case that is very, very important to me. So even if I come back to life, I don't think I'll have time to find out anything about you. You know what, that's fair. I mean... If it means, uh, if, it, if it involves somebody that is important to you, then you don't have time to deal with a stranger like him. I'm really, really sorry. I know that's a terrible thing to say to the person who saved my life once already. I see. That's too bad. But I'm afraid I'm still going to ask you. Ask me what? Ask you to save me. Even though I probably won't be able to help you. I mean, it goes without saying, we are gonna rescue you anyway. It's selfish of me. I really apologize. But I just can't die. Not yet. Not like this. I'm investigating something important tonight. I think maybe that might be the reason I was killed. But I still want to solve the case, in spite of all that. Am I out of line? Didn't I tell you a minute ago you don't know me? Huh? I'm certainly not going to treat your life like some kind of bargaining chip. I'll save you. What you do after that is up to you. Thank you. So, you ready to go back? Back to four minutes before you got shot? Alright. We're going to save you, Lion. Don't worry. Pretty wide time. <laughs> Nine second death. I headed back in time now to rewrite her fate. Faced with those circumstances, she could have just lied and promised to help me. But she didn't. And that's when I knew I could trust her. Alright. Yeah, I figured out the pink notebook has something to do with her. I have a bad feeling about this. Yes, sir. La 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 la. Detective, is everything okay? Oh, uh, I was hungry, so I was trying to get something delivered. What? Well, don't do that. Why, she, she's not allowed to be hungry? To eat? Sorry. You should leave jobs like that to me. Is chicken alright? Oh, okay. <laughs> One chicken dinner. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I'm not feeling very hungry anymore. I'd like to go back to the station for a minute, though. You would? Oh, uh, I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Inspector Cabanera is on his way. He'll be here any minute. Ooh! Ooh, yeah! Oh. Evening, patrolman. Uh, good evening, Inspector Cabanera, sir. Nice work. Now, do me a favor and take a little, little patrol around outside, will you? That's a nice fellow. Yes, sir. Yo! How's it going, baby? Inspector Cabanella, what are you doing here? I thought the special investigation unit had an important top secret assignment tonight. What does that matter at a time like this, with my lines in crisis? I appreciate it, sir. Wait a minute, did you just say crisis? Don't tell me I'm being suspected. Suspected of shooting that pointy-haired man in a red suit. I mean, I guess so. I mean, I never even met that guy before. Hmm. 
Never, maybe? Uh, well... Before tonight, I mean... He asked me to meet him here. He said he had important information about the big case I'm working on. He's the one who contacted me. I see, I see. But it's funny, isn't it? I took a look at the list of cases your station is handling right now. And I didn't see you listed as involved in any big cases. Oh? You know I don't suspect you, baby. Just trying to clear things up. You're not the type to ever shoot anybody. Hey, who knows you better than me, baby? You know, did anything ever happen to you? I wonder if this is a case where... Line was involved, and she wrote it as such in the case, but somebody erased that kind of information, like this guy, saying that... No, I don't see you being involved in any case like this. You shouldn't even be involved in this to begin with. So you're just gonna be a good little girl and do absolutely nothing. He could be a suspect. And I'll be able to look him in the eye again. Inspector Carbonella, I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah? Who was that? And I want you to answer honestly. Is it tonight? Is that when it's happening? I have no idea what you're talking about, baby. Get down! <gasps> oh god. It's to me that baby is indeed under suspicion. By Inspector Cabanella? No, he's not like that. Just for the record, did you shoot me? Me? I would never do anything like that. Anyway, it looks like they hit and fired from outside. It'd be hard to prevent the bullet from coming in, though. In any case, let's just give it a try. Our four-minute game. You know what? I have an idea. The guy who shot me is outside, right? Uh, looks like way, yeah. Instead of trying to stop the bullet once it gets in here, wouldn't it be more fun to go out and stop the guy who's shooting the bullet? I mean, that is an option. Fun, she says. With eyes gleaming. Oh boy. You can use the telephone to move around, right? Um, that's right. And I know the telephone number to the junkyard payphone, too. I don't want to get shot again. You know what they say? About three strikes and you're out. As long as you don't become a ball player, you'll probably be safe. But the telephone thing's a good idea. Maybe I'll give it a try. Uh, should we? I have a bad feeling about this. Yes, sir. Detective, is everything okay? Alright, well... Alright, let's see. Let's try. Let's, uh, let's see where it will lead us. Hello? The chicken kitchen? You want, ki you want chicken? We got your chicken. One chicken dinner, please. Ah. Would you like an order of fried chicken with that? Some good old porro. Hmm. Well, <laughs> you... I don't think that this is actually gonna help us anyway, whatsoever. It's not like this guy would be... the one who did it. Right? Well, nonetheless, I am curious. Let's go. Now you're here. Hello. Hello. Salve. Why would you like that delivered? They hung up. Oh 
Okay, well. We are at the chicken kitchen. Oh, la la la. What does it matter? A chicken order or two lost. If there were three orders, there would be a different story though. La la la. I guess. Well, well, let's see if there's anything that we can do here, I guess. Ring, ring, ring. Ring, ring, ring. We just popped over here while we had a chance, without much thought. But this isn't where the hitman was, was trying to kill me is. I don't know, it kind of depends. It feels like a, like a sniper rifle shot, so that means that they are at some distance. How far is Chicken Kitchen? Maybe we miraculously just ended up in the right place <laughs> to to get the whoever shot us. Although I won I wonder if it's um if it's that guy. The second hitman. Clearly. We probably ought to hurry back. Eh, yeah, hold on, hold on. It's a. Uh... Hmm. Okay, maybe. Maybe they're right. Maybe maybe we should just go back. Hmm, that's funny. What's the matter? This telephone doesn't seem to be working right now. Oh no! We're stuck here. Usually the telephone line glows red. But I don't see it now. But we came here by telephone line! Apparently in this four minutes before death road, we can only use the lines while the telephone is being used to make a call. You're kidding, right? As long as the lines are closed like this, it looks like we can't go anywhere. I guess we'll have to start over. Well, unless... Hold on, before, before time runs out, let's... Let's wait here a little bit. Bam, 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 bam. Time until death. Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. There's not much that we can do here. Zero. Actually, we could just technically rewind time. Guess I better remind the clock again and see if I can pick up any of our clues. All right, let's just let's just do this. All right. Well, let's see. We can we can go down here again, but I don't think that like again there's not much that we can do around here. What the fuck is this guy doing here? Like in the dark like this. Hmm. Still very suspicious. Okay, well we can move here. Alright. Uh, I don't think that the phone is going to be of use to us anymore. What could this be? It looks like a giant nail clipper. That's a microscope, dude. You think so? Do you know what it is? Ugh. Why did he have to ask me? Couldn't you see I was looking away evasively? Huh? It's one of those sciencey things that scientists use. Only people like us don't have to know what it is. I don't remember what science is. But it's apparently something Lion doesn't like very much. <laughs> really? <laughs> what the fuck? You know, it's always like a very... vague thing when it comes to people who lose their memories. Like, you know, in stories, whenever there's something like memories that you lose due to amnesia and the story progresses with the protagonist having their memory lost, but then regaining the memories back. It's always the most most important things that they forget that has to do with the case. Otherwise, as functioning people, they are capable of function functioning just fine. 
Like, they remember math, they remember how to form sentences, they remember what a what a car is, stuff like that. So, it is interesting that right now, we're, we're having a case where we don't even remember what science is. Like, what the fuck? These pictures are old. What are they of? Little fragments of rock? And the fragments are glowing. Do you know what these are? Sorry, but I lost my memory. Probably not the best person to ask. Like, I'm not I'm not one of those geologists. That's okay. I was only being polite. I didn't really think you'd know. Ouch! This lady's tongue can be sharp. Huh. I can hear what you're thinking, remember? I know, I know. Get one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Hmm. One chicken dinner. I like to, I like to go back to the station for a minute though. Bah! <laughs> okay. Actually, ha have we read the notebook up until this point? What's up with this binding notebook? Oh, that's mine. Isn't it adorable? <laughs> Why isn't it your adorable notebook in your, in your pocket? I, I panicked, okay? Don't you shove things in a bookcase when you panic? Not unless there's some secret inside of it. Who were you calling anyway? It was personal business. They ordered me here to stand guard over this rookie detective line. Now that I'm really looking at her, she sure is cute. Yeah, she sure is. Quite, um... Quite attractive, even, I must say. They told me to call the detective outside of it, if she did anything suspicious. So here I stand. Hey, maybe I need to call the detective outside, I don't know. She's so beautiful, it's criminal. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, she is, uh... She's quite something, she... She has good looks, for sure, but... Can we do something with this? Can we push this guy? No, apparently not. What if we were to highlight this for him? Yeah, there you go. Do you see that pink uh, notebook there, buddy? Maybe you should check it out. That's Lion's notebook. Hey, wait a minute. I thought she was practicing a dance move when I came in. No, that was definitely suspicious. No question. I better report this. I wonder if I can make the call without her noticing. Ah. There you go. Suspicious indeed. Now we can... Uh, we have something new here. Let's see. Oh, there you go. Okay. This is a much better lead. What's up? I've been watching line just like you told me to. And I thought of something suspicious. You did. So Inspector Cabanella was right. She was hiding her notebook when I came in. Her notebook, eh? Huh? Yes, sir. In a very suspicious manner. In a very conspicuous place. Anything else? Uh... Well, let's see. It's pink. And it's a notebook. Anything else? Uh, come to think of it, she wasn't using the phone when I came in, too. And referring to our notebook. Okay. Someone will be over there. Okay. Someone will be over later. Don't let you... Don't let on you notice... Don't let on you notice anything. Mm, okay. Hey, look at that. The phone line is glowing red. Yeah. And we better do it quickly. Otherwise, we're gonna lose the lead. I bet it would work if you tried it now. I bet you're right. The detective he's talking to is outside in a junkyard. And that's where the horrible hitman who's after me is too. Yeah, let's go there. Right now. 